Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to do another perfume haul. I've been slacking on my videos, but I'm trying to pre-record like three or four today to put out for the next few days. So you'll see me in the same um, makeup and outfit for a few videos, hopefully if I actually do them. Okay, um, as always, we're going to start with body mist first. I have three body mists and six perfumes. Okay, so this is Pacifica. I got the Wonderlust Hair and Body Mist set. Um, I got these from Ulta, like, I don't know, three months ago, they had like a 20 or 25% off Pacifica. So I got three perfumes and three body mists. Um, so let's go ahead and start with this first one. This is... I forgot my little spray things, but oh well. <laughs> this one is, I think it's Tahitian Gardenia. This is what it looks like. All of these come in perfumes, but this is the body mist, so they won't be as strong. It actually says hair and body mist. This is two fluid ounces. I don't see any notes on it, but obviously it has Gardenia in it. Yeah, this is a very floral, tropical scent, but it also smells super, super clean. Um, it kind of smells like, let's see if I can aim it down there a little. Anyways, <laughs> it kind of um, smells like laundry-ish. It's very clean. Yeah, it definitely has a laundry scent to it, more so than anything else, actually. Yeah, that's interesting. Smells like laundry, smells very clean, fresh. Um, I don't get much gardenia. I do get like maybe a little coconutty or just some kind of tropical flowers. But yeah, this to me smells like um, laundry. So that's Tahitian gardenia. Next we have Indian coconut nectar. This is it right here. Also two fluid ounces, of course. Um, so let's see what this one's giving. I guess I'll just spray it on my clothes since I forgot my <laughs> little spray things. Hmm. This one actually smells like Play-Doh to me. <laughs> I do smell a coconutty, but it's um, not like a sweet coconut. It's like a airy coconut. Very, very, very light. It still kind of just smells like Play-Doh to me. Um, and not in a bad way, like a sweet Play-Doh. Now it's kind of turning into like a floral maybe. You get like a hint of coconut. Hopefully like my nose isn't off today or something, but it kind of smells like sweet Play-Doh. So that's Indian coconut nectar. Okay, and the last one in the set, which is very, very popular one. This is Pacifica Island Vanilla. Everyone knows this one. It's super, super popular. It's like a summer vanilla. Hmm. I know these are body mists, so they're lighter. But this to me is like really light. It is that sweet vanilla though, and like it is tropical smelling. Like of course you could still wear it during winter, but it's definitely more of like a summer. Um, this one's a very light vanilla, but I know the perfume is like much more potent, obviously. Um, but this is still really, really good. I love Island Vanilla. I think it smells great. Um, and it's, you know, a lot of vanillas are gourmand, super, super sweet. So it is nice to have like a summertime vanilla. Okay, now for the perfumes, we'll just keep it going with Pacifica. This is Pacifica Flower Moon. The box is like so messed up. I don't even know like what's going on. Oh, I guess it just, okay. <laughs> That's what it looks like. This one has um, jasmine, peach, and vanilla 
in it. You can see mine leaked. That's why I always open my perfumes as soon as I get them, like before I film the videos, because I live in a high elevation and stuff leaks. Um, and this one leaked a lot. This Flower Moon smells amazing to me. It smells like it has musk in it, like a skin, like a skin musk. Um, it doesn't say it does. Jasmine, peach, and vanilla. I definitely smell the jasmine, but it's like an airy, like aromatic jasmine, I guess. And the vanilla is kind of like taking a back step. Like it's not, it's sweet, but it's sweet and like a fruity, musky way. This one's so, so, so good. This one, I like this one a lot. I can't wait to wear this. Oh, oh, it looks like the cap is on kind of crooked. Maybe that's what I was leaking. Anyways, um, still on crooked. Um, but yeah, and sometimes you can find these at TJ Maxx. Um, I found this one and another one I'm going to talk about in a lotion for $3.99. Um, so I have the lotions to those two. There, it is a smaller lotion, but still. Um, okay, next we're going to do Sunrise Moon. This is Peach, Cardamom, and Mandarin. Once again, this one leaked. I think it's because they don't, well, I know it's the pressure um, up here. Like the altitude causes stuff to like leak. Like when I open lotion, it kind of like squirts out everywhere. But anyways, this one you can really, oh get the notes back out this one you can really really smell the peach the last one had peach in it too that's pretty interesting peach isn't like the like most common note so whenever like two things have peach in them you can tell okay this one you can smell the peach big time but you can also really really smell the cardamom so it smells like spices like spicy with a sweet peach hit to it and what else is in here mandarin yeah you can definitely smell like the fruitiness from the peach and mandarin and then it's like cardamom spice it's a spicy green fruity scent smells like juicy fruit not like the gum but like a real fruit that's like juicy and then like a spice and a little bit of greenness too so that's Sunrise Moon by Pacifica. <laughs> okay, and this one is another popular scent from Pacifica. This is Silver Moon. Um, this is Vanilla, Almond, and Spice. I love almond and fragrances. I don't like almonds, but I like almond and fragrances. Um, Because you would expect this to be like a gourmand. This is also my favorite bottle, like the... Uh, dark blue to light blue. Okay, let's see this one. Yeah, you can definitely smell the almond in it. And let's see what else did I have in it. You can smell the almond. And definitely the spice. The vanilla is just kind of sitting in the background, giving it the tiniest bit of sweetness. This isn't like gourmand super sweet or anything. This smells like almond and spice. You don't really smell the vanilla. But, um, yeah, the spice. The almond is what's standing out the most. And then it's like a spicy almond with a tiny, tiny hint of sweetness. Um, so that is Silver Moon. Okay, next we're going to go into... Um, I forgot what her first name is because there's a sticker over top of it. Oh, Narciso Rodriguez for her. This is the EDT one fluid ounce. As you can see, I got a TJ Maxx for 48. Um, by the way, I think this set was like 12, $13 for the three. 
and I think these perfumes like this were like 18 if that. Sometimes you can find Pacifica at TJ Maxx for $10, I think. Or I got one for $8 there. But anyways, this is what the um, Narciso Rodriguez looks like. This is not the popular one. The popular one is Musk Rose. This is just her original for her. And also... The EDT bottle looks like this, and the EDP bottle, I think, is red. It's a really pretty bottle. I knew this one was, like, kind of popular, but it's the EDP that's popular. They have different notes. This is the EDT. This one is not so popular, and it's not so popular because it's a very, very, very vintage white floral. It's vintage <laughs> it smells um that's the only way you can describe it it's very vintage whoa that spray was aggressive and it's very strong it smells like it also has cardamom in here some kind of deep um patchouli times a hundred patchouli and white floral Yeah, it's um very mature. Honestly, it probably wasn't worth 48 to me, but I don't really return fragrances cuz I think they like throw them out. But yeah, it's at least very different for me. It's probably smells like a lot of um vintage perfumes do, like super patchouli heavy that gives it that like spiciness and white floral that gives it like that mature scent. Um, so it's a little different. There's definitely a time and place for that. Oh, let's see, it says amber wood and a heart of musk. That's all it says. Osmanthus notes. I, I don't really know what that means to be honest, but there's that. The patchouli's kind of chilling out, <laughs> but it still smells like patchouli and white floral. So EDP, probably better. This EDT is very polarizing. Not many people would probably like it, um, especially like younger people. Okay, <laughs> Elizabeth Arden, Green Tea Lavender. The, I accidentally took the plastic all the way off. This was, I think, $14.99, either that or $12.99 from TJ Maxx. I love the original green tea from Elizabeth Arden, and this one's green tea lavender. I love lavender notes so much. Um, I know a lot of people don't like them because they're a bit masculine, but I love them because they make stuff smell even like cleaner and fresher to me. Um, and green tea... Green tea and tea scents are also another one of my favorite things. They smell so fresh, so clean, so like elevated, like a fancy spa or something. That's what tea scents reminds me of. But this lavender one, the cap was kind of hard to take off. Let's see. Oh yeah, it smells exactly like you think it would. I will say this lavender is pretty masculine in this fragrance with the green tea scent, like the original, this is a flanker to Elizabeth Arden green tea. This flanker of lavender smells like it should, like it smells like green tea with just a hint of lavender in it. It is maybe a bit more masculine, so definitely unisex, I think. It's so good. I would get all the green tea scents if I could. Um, so this is a 3.3 fluid ounce for 15. So that's really, really good. I know I got, I have the, I think 1.7 ounce of the original green tea. And I know I paid no more than $12 for that one. Um, so they're really affordable and really good. And they have like 10 to like 15 flankers of it. Like there's a, um, Nectarine Blossom. I can't remember any of the others, but I know 
Um, just look at TJ Maxx and like Burlington and Ross. You, you'll you probably be able to find green tea and sometimes you can find the flinkers. But anyways, I like that. Super fresh, super clean. Okay, next. I opened the thing. I was so excited to find this at TJ Maxx. This is um, Jimmy Choo, I Want You Forever. This is the EDP, two fluid ounce. Um, the bot, the thing is so pretty. Okay, sixty dollars, which is a great, great price for that, in my opinion. Okay, this. First of all, I love the box. It's glittery. Here is the bottle. Also very pretty. This is a flanker to I Want You or I Want You because um, it's Jimmy Choo. So this is I Want You Forever. This and the original is I Want You. Um, I think they have a few. This is an extremely popular perfume. A lot of people love the original and this is the Forever. And a lot of people love this one too. This one's very popular. Um, so I was surprised to find it at TJ Maxx. Um, let's see where it didn't spray. This one. This one's so, so, so good to me. It kind of reminds me of Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. The extreme one, I think it is. It's like a deeper fragrance. I think it has cherry in it. It kind of smells like, in the best way possible, it kind of smells like um, a cherry chopstick, but in a deeper perfumey way. I, it has to have cherry in it or something because it smells like cherry. This is so, so, so good though. It's like a sweet, deep cherry fragrance. And I did already spray this like on my arm once when I first took it out of the package. And it stayed on me pretty much all day. Like a long, long, long time. Oh, this is so good. I don't have the original, but I, now I wonder what it smells like because this one is so, so, so good. I would pick it up if you see it. It's a good price for two fluid ounces. Um, So $60 for that. Okay, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.